what is up guys here? <laughs> what is up guys here? What the fuck? <laughs> what is up guys? This is RGGHT official is what I meant. And uh, this is a tutorial on how to get Chris Badio and the Mixed Out 7 for free. And uh, yeah, I currently have the Blue Yeti right now. So obviously your audio is not going to be the same if you have a different microphone. It might be similar but not the same. And uh, this is actually a USB microphone if you haven't heard of the Blue Yeti yourself. It's on my desktop stand right here. And uh, um, my headphones is directly plugged into here. And pretty awesome mic. And uh, if you guys want it, you can get it yourself. So it's about 100 through like $200 on, online. Or you could just sometimes get it cheaper. If, it's, if the person's really wanted, wanted to sell it like right away. But uh, yeah, so let's get started to the uh, tutorial. Or all the tutorial. And yeah, so what I've added for the first preset or effect is called the acoustic impressor and I have the custom or custom uh, preset that I made well I guess I didn't really make it's just custom obviously <laughs> well what am I doing <laughs> We're saying. but anyways yeah so uh, next for the second effect that I have added it's called the cask master luminary I have it such as master city there's another uh, preset they have you can uh, check for yourselves, it's called Very Hot. I believe it's a bit louder than Master CD if you want that. And uh, yeah, so for the third effect I added, it's called Poltronic Tube EQ. And I chose the class but a Vacuum Tube EQ. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys my settings that I've edited in here that I use. And uh, yeah, for the input volume, it's a little over 5. And for the local frequency out bandwidth, uh, it is a little over 6, really close to 7. And for low uh, cut frequency, it is for, or it is at 80, 80 hertz. And for low frequency tube, class of tube. And low frequency boost, it is a little over 1. And for bandwidth, it is. Uh, Kind of close to two, not not really at two, but almost at two. And uh, for frequency, it's at 360 hertz. <laughs> and uh, for medical frequency, it is at six. Or for the bandwidth, it is a little, a very very close to the plus. And uh, for gain, yeah, <laughs> for frequency right here, it is at a uh, oh like next to the G, pointing to the G of gain right here and then for frequency right here and it's at 3 kilohertz and for bandwidth it is at a little over 3 for high frequency it is at 8 for warmth it's very 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 close to 1 1 1 <laughs> and uh, for saturation drive it is at 0 uh, for brilliance I believe that's how you pronounce it, not, sorry about that it's a little over 4 and for a high frequency tube, it's the same as low fre frequency tube, which is class of tube. And then for output volume, it is at 5, and then obviously it's on. <laughs> yeah. And for uh, the uh, fourth effect that I've added is classic V, another class V. For the fifth uh, effect is classic compressor. It is, uh, for the preset, it is bass attack. And there's a lot of other presets you can use yourself so you can test out and uh, see how you like them. Uh, I just prefer bass attack. And yeah, for SQ equalizer, I have it set to program 00. zero. You could use other programs. I don't think they, uh, they change. I, I'm pretty sure you can just add as much as you want or edit as much as you want. And uh, yeah, so for acoustic EQ, I have a classic V again. And a cast compressor, I uh, mixed down, and that's all the effects and presets I've had. I've had, and for the uh, for the input right here, it's set to my microphone. Obviously, I haven't changed any of these uh, at all, or any of these either. And for the volume, I have it set to zero. And then for this volume, or for, for this little volume mixer audio track, <laughs> and for this main mix, I have. I have it set to 3 and then for this volume uh, mixture right here I have it set to negative 3 0 dB and then for my mic volume I have I have it set to 75% and then if you guys want to hear yourself live like I'm doing so myself 
you can uh, click arm and then select whatever microphone you have if it uh, makes you select your microphone. For some reason, it only makes me uh, or made me select or makes me <laughs> select the uh, the Blue Yeti when I when I, when I have my Blue Yeti set too. Sorry about that. Before when I had other or any other mics I had, um, I just like set it basically. I don't know why it's doing now, but I guess that's just how it is. And then you click effects, obviously. And then for uh, for it to monitor your own voice, you just do monitor incoming or incoming audio, and then bam, you can hear your voice as well, like right away. And it's pretty sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get the crisp and the best crisp audio in 2016. <laughs> and uh, yeah, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe for more, and share with your friends and family, whoever you like. And uh, yeah, alright, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and alright, peace.